So now we've done the latex agglutination tests, we have an we have an indicator of whether the patient is carrying a Staphylococcus aureus or a coagulase negative Staphylococcus. But to further aid our identification of which patient, which uh, medical member of the medical staff is actually carrying the same, same strain as the patient, we've done antibiotic sensitivity testing on all the strains. Now. By comparing different antibiotic sensitivity patterns, we will get an even clearer identity of which patient is carrying the um, infective strain. And basically, what we have to do is we have a control strain of Staphylococcus aureus, which has known sensitivities to a range of antibiotics. The antibiotics we've used here are penicillin, gentamicin, ciprofloxacin, erythromycin, gefoxetin and vancomycin. All of these antibiotics in the hospital setting are regularly used to treat staphylococcal infections. One of the most important antibiotics on this plate is the gefoxetin disc. The gefoxetin disc is an indicator of resistance to flucloxacillin. Flucloxacillin is actually an indicator of resistance to methicillin or metacillin as it's now been reclassified. And if you have an organism that is therefore resistant to cafoxetin, you are and is latex positive, you are looking at a probable MRSA carriage rather than a typical Staphylococcus aureus carriage. So what we would do in the laboratory now is we would measure the zone sizes of inhibition around each of these antibiotic discs, record those and then we would do the same for each of the discs for the isolates we've acquired from the patients and the medical staff. So for instance this is patient 1 and this is the control strain. So even by eye at this point, you can see that for the penicillin disc here, you have a very large zone of inhibition produced by that antibiotic. Whereas in patient 1, you have virtually no zone. Because there is a reduced diameter of the zone of inhibition, this antibiotic is therefore referred to as resistant. Now if we look at the cafoxetin, if we measure those zones, we will find they are almost the same size. If anything, the patients may be slightly larger. And in that instance, we are able to say that the organism is sensitive to that antibiotic. Because we know this zone indicates that the organism is sensitive, therefore this zone, if it is the same size or larger, must also be sensitive. And that would be the process for the antibiotic sensitivities on all of the isolates that we've recovered.